Yes, this is another video about the advice of the greatest investor of our time, Warren Buffett. You have a job you go to every day and bills to pay. So the last thing you need to worry about are your investments. If you thought investing in 2020 or 2021 was a murky pursuit, then all the investment guidance you've heard in 2022 must sound a bit like being inside the exotic bird sanctuary at the zoo. The noise is absolutely deafening. Don't worry, you don't have to have superhuman powers to know how to handle this cacophony. Buffett's advice passes the test of time in all environments, and all you have to do is filter out all that noise, listen to that advice, and take action based on what you hear. In this video, I'll lay out the specific points Warren Buffett says investors need to focus on in 2022 and some specific places he recommends you should put your money. Buffett's point one, invest in what you know. Buffett has never been shy about telling people that quality over quantity is the best way to approach investing. Investing in what you know is that much more important when the markets are more volatile than they've been in years. Let's be clear, investing in what you know doesn't mean you have to be a master, knowing all information about the companies you're investing in. What it actually means is don't get pulled into investments when you don't have any idea why you're there. Meme stocks were temporary, and the constant rise of equities has clearly been tested in the first few months of 2022. The companies you choose to add to your portfolio should be those that have passed the test of time and offer a strong case for continuing to grow even in difficult markets. Unfortunately, investing in what you know means taking a bit of time to learn how to understand when a stock is overpriced. Even if you know a company is a good one, it may not be the best time to buy it if the market has pumped the value past what the company is capable of delivering. Buffett's point two, quality is still quality. I already touched on this one, but Buffett's investing always focuses on quality companies. In his specific case, investing in companies that are simply seeing difficulties in the short term, but that have excellent future prospects, are the ones he chooses. While the market is falling, be very careful to see a buy the dip opportunity at every turn. Just because the market is correcting doesn't mean that everything is suddenly a value stock. You still need to really dig into a company's reports and understand whether they are capable of returning growth because that is the only thing that matters. Quality, in Buffett's eyes, is the most important box a stock must tick if he's going to put his money there. They weren't penny stocks, but they were cheap stocks. They were, they were, uh, they were not penny stocks. In fact, some of them sold at very high dollar prices per share. But they were, they were so-so companies. They were not great companies like we try to own now. And, and, but they were cheap. We called them cigar butts because they were, they were there on the, on the, on the, on the street and uh, kind of soggy and didn't look like very much. But they had one puff left in them, and the puff was free. And I, I sort of learned investing that way. And, and then my to-be partner, Charlie Munger, straightened me out after a while and said, let's buy, let's buy wonderful companies at fair, price, fair prices rather than fair companies at wonderful prices. Buffett's point three, be on the lookout for deals, but buy for the long term. Buffett never invested in Netflix. Did you ever wonder why? You might say it's because he never invests in tech companies, but that's definitely not true. One of his biggest holdings is Apple. Netflix was a trailblazer of the streaming revolution, and it started in its early days as a giant killer, bringing down Blockbuster in a matter of a few years. Now that we can look back, perhaps he was smarter than the rest of us. Buffett likes companies with a strong edge in their target markets. Netflix had a strong lead, but Buffett probably knows that all technology eventually can be replicated. This means the competition gets fierce, and the growth potential starts to pull back after a certain period of time. Buffett buys for the long term, and everyone should have the same mindset before buying into stocks. That being said, if you find a company worth buying, it may be a good idea to consider waiting for that company to present a good buying opportunity. Sure, some investing gurus may say that waiting too long can kill your returns. Buffett is 91 years old and still invests like he's going to be around another 40 years. He isn't about pouncing on a stock just because it's good. He wants to get in at a fair price and then grow his capital along with the company on the way up. Buffett's point four. Don't settle for diversification. We think diversification is, as practice generally, makes very little sense for anyone that knows what they're doing. Uh, they, diversification is a protection against ignorance. I mean, if you want to make sure that nothing bad happens to you relative to the market, you own everything. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that, that is a perfectly sound approach for somebody who, who does not feel they know how to analyze businesses. If you know how to analyze businesses and value businesses, it's crazy to own 50 stocks or 40 stocks or 30 stocks probably.
This one is a bit complicated because if you follow Buffett at all, you'll know that he sometimes gives out conflicting bits of wisdom. For instance, the wisdom Buffett gives out to the vast majority of people is that they can do no better than parking their money in an S&P 500 or total market index fund. Sure, you're almost guaranteed not to see above average returns every year. You will, however, end up with guaranteed at benchmark returns each and every year. Now, Buffett will also tell investors that diversification is the sure way to kill any hope at good returns. To the lay investor, that seems like it conflicts with the first piece of information. Stock indexes may be invested in tens or hundreds of stocks, and that may seem like diversification. But what Buffett is getting at is the age-old stock and bond mixtures that money managers have been preaching to the masses for decades. If you invest in bonds along with your index funds, sure, you'll feel less pain when the stocks are falling, but you'll also guarantee that you'll never even meet the benchmark returns in any given year. This will seriously hold back your portfolio's performance over the long term. Buffett's point five, the news is not your friend. In the short term, banks profit from heightened levels of volatility, and that is pushed on the masses by terrifying news being conveyed. When you sell, someone else is buying. That's how the markets work. The way you fight against that is simple. Don't sell. This piece of information is especially important in the current market climate. While it may seem like a great time to flee to cash and wait for the market to turn, you need to remember two very important points. First, you will absolutely miss out on that rebound that, in almost every case, will happen eventually. Trying to save your capital in cash and buy in at the exact right moment will not turn out in your favor unless you have some fancy investing software. Second, the major players in the market have more intelligence and access than you, and they'll be the first ones to make plays in the opposite direction. They use computers and complex trading systems that are specifically designed to make market moves far faster than you. When dust gets kicked up, such as we are seeing now, the best thing you can do is sit tight on your investments and let the dust settle. Buffett's point six, investing is simple, but not easy. Speaking of all that complicated computer technology, you don't actually need all that as a retail investor like me or you. Investing for us is simple, and it should be. If you follow the rules that Buffett has laid out, not just for 2022, but also for any event, you'll find that investing can be very simple. Simple, but not easy. If you prefer the easy route, you can make the very simple decision to invest in the indices like I talked about. It's not easy, however, to fight the human emotion to protect what's yours when the stock markets take a turn for the worse. On the other hand, you can make investing about putting your money in the companies whose products you use every day. If you like a product, why shouldn't other people, right? See, it's a very simple decision. Making money in the markets is not easy though. You have to have the self-discipline to set a plan and follow it to the letter regardless of how complicated you want to make it. If you think we're going to see another meme stock crazy anytime soon, you're mistaken. Trying to find that quick buck scenario will bankrupt you, especially in the long run. That's all for this video. While the world is trying to figure itself out, investing might seem like the last thing to worry about. I hope everyone out there stays safe and that dust settles quickly.